Hi everyone, Ryan Ratliff here, fly tying manager and guide at Mad River Outfitters. Uh, we're going to talk about some vices today. So uh, let me go deep into a lot of the vices that I have. Uh, you might be thinking that we're talking about vices like this, but really, I got a lot of. No, no, we're not going there. We're not going there. We are talking about fly tying vices. So today we're going to talk about Regal. So Regal has been around for a long time. It is a staple in the fly tying industry. It doesn't matter where, if you're just coming in to tying or if you are been tying for a long time, Regal has different options and has a vise that is perfect for your needs. If you're going to order a vise online from, from our website, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what jaw size that you need. The traditional jaw, this is the medallion. The traditional jaw, that's going to handle the size, uh, most, of your, most size of the typical fly that you're going to tie. So a 22 up to a size one aught. Since we're looking, talking about the jaws, you can kind of see this is unique for Regal. This is an arm here. There's no tensioning screws or levers or cams um, that you would happen to have on other type of vices. This one, this is a lever, but it's a, it, when I squeeze on this, it opens the jaw. No matter what size hook that I have, I don't have any adjustion, adjustments that need to be made other than squeezing this, placing the hook in, letting go, and it holds the hook. There's a couple grooves in there, so you want to make sure that the hook gets put right in those grooves and it's at a, a, the right angle. So if you tie mostly size 22 to one knot, the traditional head would be the best option for you. If you tie mostly trout size flies, this is the midge jaw. You can kind of see it necks down a little bit. You've got a smaller, smaller taper there. We have a little hot spot trico there. So let me pull that out. You know, all of them are gonna have this lever that you squeeze and it opens up the jaw. This one's gonna be smooth. There's no grooves in there to find the hook. This jaw is definitely for those that do trout stuff. This goes down to a size 32 hook and roughly up to a size six. The next one, this one is the big game jaw. The big game jaw has a very large uh, capacity of different size hooks. It's a lot beefier in the jaw portion here. Also has a couple grooves in there that you put your hooks into. This one can go down to a size 22 and up to a five aught. So if you do more bass style stuff, you do a lot of the big, you tie on a lot of the big shanks, you're doing some different things like that. You want one vice to kind of do a lot of the bigger game stuff. This will be the jaw for you. If you want to do some of the, you like to rotate your, your hook shank while you tie flies, they do have a rotary option. This is the revolution. Counterbalance here to kind of counterbalance this handle. Uh, it has the same size jaw as a standard. You know, it's a standard jaw in there, so that is your 22 to uh, your one aught lever. A little bit different design, uh, just so you can get your hand around there. And it still has the grooves in the tip, all those types of things. This is the one that actually is on a rotary feature, and we'll show you that on the rotary stem. A couple other new things out, and we'll talk more in depth of this at a separate separate uh, video but these are the shank heads so the shank head it looks a lot like the the standard just a little bit beefier in here still has the same lever option but it holds the different size shanks different types it does hold some hooks too and again we'll go into that and that also is available in the revolution the rotary style all right so once you pick the jaw that fits your needs the most then you need to pick what size stem and base option that you want I'll kind of start you at the bottom and kind of work your way up. So this one here, you can see that it's just a bent, bent piece there. This is the long stem for a C-clamp. This is the Inex, so it doesn't have a swivel here. This is your, your regular C-clamp. See, this is the swivel portion. I'll show you how to put the heads on here in a second, but I'm just show you the different lengths. This is your pedestal, so a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter there. That goes for the pedestal. We have the small travel size, so even smaller, less weight. Travel base, travel stem. 
And this is the stem for the C-clamp revolution. So this is that rotary feature. Those are the different stem options that you have and they fit. The nice thing about it is you can see this end here. This fits all the different size heads. So no matter what you choose at first, if you decide I really want to get into musky fishing, I want to get into some saltwater fishing, I can go with the larger head or a smaller head, whatever your option you want. So whatever you're stuck with, there's lots of options. We kind of joke that it's kind of like, Regal is kind of like the Legos of fly tying. You can just build it as you need to. Let's talk about the basics. First off, your C-clamp, very heavy duty C-clamp. Uh, it does a great job, it has a very large opening, so it can handle different types, widths of tables or other surfaces that you might be using. Again, if you're getting a C-clamp, you're gonna get one of these longer stems. So that, those two would come together. Let's talk about some of the bronze bases. This one is a bronze base that has been, it's, you can definitely see it's been weathered here. This, this vise, came off the vise that we've been using in our classes for probably almost 20 years. It is the standard in Regal uh, bases. It has a lip around the edge, so if you put beads or hooks, it's not gonna fall off. And again, you're gonna be going with the smaller, the base, the pedestal base is gonna come with a smaller stem. All right, so that was the traditional bronze base. This is the pocket bronze base. So this is one of the bases that we really like here in the shop because it has the different types of pockets in it. What I like to use these for, say I'm tying nymphs, I can put the different types of beads in here, put the different types of hooks. Say I'm using uh, some legs or some biots, I can even set those in there. Really nice for uh, production style tying or if I'm going to sit down and tie a lot of pheasant tails, a lot of hare's ears, different things like that, prince nymph. I can put all the different steps in there and I don't have to fondle around to find the fumble around and find the different things on the table. So uh, this is the pocket bronze base. Very nice and heavy. This moves to a lighter base. Say you want to do some uh, traveling or you move it around a lot. You don't necessarily need as heavy of a base. This is the aluminum pocket base. So just like the bronze, it has the different pockets in there. So you can set your different hooks and beads and whatever you need to do. It has a uh, nice cork on the bottom so it's gonna hold on the table. Um, very, very popular this size here because it's still heavy enough to give you support, but gives you all the options here and light enough to take with you in certain places. All right, last pedestal base is the travel base. So you see this is just the, the little brother of the pocket base, still has the pockets, so it makes it nice to, to put your different steps of your fly in there. Um, shorter, lighter, this is aluminum, so it's not as heavy as the bronze and it's definitely shorter. You could, if you wanted to, if you needed to, to make it flat, you can undo that and pull off this piece so it can pack into uh, you know, a small, a small um, carry-on or your luggage, whatever. And that one would have this short little pedestal stem. All right, so that is all the options that you have when you're gonna look to ordering a Regal vise. There's a couple other things that you have that you need to think about if you would like to have a custom color. So you can get any one of the jaws, and this place here would be a custom color. And there's multiple different colors that are out there. If you're gonna order it online, you need to select that as a separate item, the, the custom color, and place that into your cart. There is, an, there is an added fee for that, but it's minimal, and they have lots of really attractive colors. And again, any one of the jaws, if you wanted the Revolution with a different color, no problem. You can get any of the jaws with the custom color. All right, so there are quite a few other items that go along with this, and we're gonna talk about accessories in a separate video just because we wanna focus on the jaws. There, are, there is one other jaw that, we don't, that I didn't show here, and that's the stainless steel jaw. And the stainless jaw, it is, uh, it's popular for people that really wanna tie trout flies, that smaller size fly. It has a smaller neck in at the jaw, just a little bit more transition. It doesn't neck down like this. It's more fluid transition. And just this portion here is gonna be stainless. But that is 30, size 32 hook, up to uh, about a size two or so. That's also a popular option. So, wanna make sure that if, there, if you have any questions with any of this, I know there's lots of options. Feel free to call us, shoot us an email. Uh, we will definitely make sure that we can fit the right vice setup 
to your needs and the things that you're gonna tie. Let me show you one thing about how to change, how to place the heads on. So this is the big game head. Let's just say I'm gonna put this in this pocket aluminum base. So this is how it would come. You notice that this can rotate around. It's not a rotary vise, but it rotates. Just by tightening this knob down, I can lock it in so it's fixed, or I can spin it. So let's say I'm putting in eyes on the fly or different things that I want to. I can turn this and it's not gonna flop around. Turn it the different ways, tie, turn it different ways and tie. Also, you can notice that this is at this angle. I can loosen this nut here and I can adjust this to whatever angle I want. If I want it more vertical for maybe a longer fly, as long as, it, long as the hook fits into the, those grooves in there, you can make that happen. A lot of people like it just slightly up, about like that, slightly elevated. Say I wanted to tie some midges, I wanted to tie some 32s, go right from your 5 aught to your 32. Um, you might have some thread tension issues there, but unscrew that tension knob, pull the head off, place on your midge jaw, and go. This also, it can, it can rotate. Again, this doesn't make it a rotary vise, it just makes it the ability to rotate. And I can tie my small midges with this. So, you can also, you, you don't have to buy a whole separate vise, you just buy a different size heads for the different type of options. All right, let me show you one last thing here. The C-clamp and the Revolution. I'm gonna set this in the C-clamp. Get it to the right height. I'm gonna hook it to the table here. And I'll show you how this rotates. This is a standard gel Revolution head. And it has this tension knob here and there is a flat side on this stem on the the post that rotates around so i want to make sure that this tension knob lines up with that flat piece just slide that on drop it down there is i'll spin it so you can see there is a tension knob here and this adjusts the amount of force it takes to rotate the vise around this one is a rotary vise It has a, a large knob here that you can turn. You can also loosen this up so it spins rather freely. This would, would be a, if you want a true rotary feature, you would need to stick to smaller size flies. It keeps the plane, the, the hook shank on plane. With this, if you go to a larger fly, a larger hook, as you rotate that, the hook shank will go up and down so it's not uh, going by the definition in the industry as a true rotary. It's not a true rotary, but in most of your trout size stuff, it does just fine doing rotary features. So, uh, very popular. And you can uh, simply, if I need to hold it here, you just simply lock it down. It's ready to go. Loosen it up, do my rotary features, all kinds of options. Again, this comes in all the different types of pedestal bases. This just happens to be a C-clamp that we have here. If you wanted to say get the midge jaw or a different size jaw in the rotary, the revolution, you need to make sure, I can't just take, uh, you need to make sure that you keep in the revolution jaws. I can't just take this midge jaw, I'll show you why here in a second. I can't just take this midge jaw if I had it and place it on here. It doesn't really fit real well, number one. And when I would rotate it, it wouldn't, spin freely Let's see, if I can get one. see they make them so you can't even put them on but if i if i would happen to have uh try to shove that on there thinking that maybe i can save a couple different things save some money this counterweight here makes it rotate smoothly if not it really flops around and rotates and shakes on the desk too much so make sure if you want to go rotary style you have to stick with the revolution heads with the counterweight all right, lots of options here with Regal. Uh, you can customize it to pretty much any situation that you need. It's super simple. Squeeze the lever, put the hook in, let go. It holds it rock solid. Uh, very popular. A lot of the professional tires tie on them. Uh, a lot of beginners get them. 
stuff for every price range and many options to fit your needs currently or give you future in the future be able to adjust to different situations. So thank you for checking out this video. Thank you for spending the time with Regal here, learning a little bit more of the different options. Make sure that you like this video and comment and subscribe. Thanks.